Hi, I am Bliss from Simmorph, and in this video I will show you some oscillator related features of the Access Virus using this Access Virus PowerCore synthesizer. This is essentially the same as the Virus B, but it's in a VST instrument format, so a virus in the box. Everything I'm showing you here basically relates to all viruses. The difference is just the visual representation. Anyway, when I used to have a hardware virus, I always preferred using it with an editor to working on the front panel and its little screen. It was a sound driver that came with this uh, virus BC. But if you have the TI, the virus control is very effective too for, for editing. Okay, so I'm starting from default preset, but I have to make some changes in order to get a clean waveform. So first, here is the analog boost feature, which somehow softens the waveform. So I will turn it off. So you see these curved shapes, it's unusual in the row so waveform. This is due to the analog boost. And now, as I'm removing it, it disappears. Okay, the next thing is the punch. Uh, look at this. It will add the spike to the attack of the waveform. So I will turn it down. If I turn it down, no more spikes. We still do not have the clean waveform because both oscillator 1 and 2 are mixed. So I'm changing it here to oscillator 1 only. And finally, now we have the raw basic oscillator of the virus, which is the rising so waveform. Now, let's see this oscillator 1 section. Unfortunately, it's not very visual here, but the shape button defines the waveform in a tricky way. The middle position means the so waveform. If you turn it to the right, then it blends into a square. Only this time the PW button has an audible effect, which is the pass with modulation. Okay, with the shape going back to the center position, if I turn it to the left, then it blends to the 64 spectral waveform. And you can browse them using this wave select knob. Now, the nice thing is that everything in between can be blended. So I can blend between the so and the square, and also between the so and the 64 spectral waveforms. So we have a huge number of combinations just from one oscillator. Anyway, waveform 57 is also a so waveform. This one has a falling shape and has a really odd spectral content. It somehow reminds me to the soul of the Arc Odyssey. And what's more interesting, and it is the specialty of the virus, you can use these spectral waveforms not just for oscillator, but first also as an FM modulator. So here you set the FM modulator source to wave and this time it always uses the oscillator 1 wave, this one, as this is the modulator and oscillator 2 is always the carrier, like a basic 2 operator FM synthesizer. So virus is not an FM synthesizer, but a very basic FM is possible. And it can create a very wide range of FM sounds using the wave mode and the different shapes. Just listen to, just listen to them.
now the second, which is even more interesting, uh, you can use these 64 spectral waves even as LFO waveforms, like select them from the drop downs here. You see LFO 1 from LFO 2 and the LFO 3. They are all available here. Let me show you this one, this very powerful vari variable LFO waveform in Access Virus. I'm setting this init preset again. At set a modulation to patch Wyom. Set the amount to maximum. And uh, I also set the main Wyom to half because of bipolar LFO will change it to both direction. Okay, and if I zoom in with the LFO symmetry button, in other virus models it is called contour. I don't have the faintest idea why they changed the name here. So depending on the waveform here, moving symmetry left or right will modify the LFO wave shape. For instance here, while moving the triangle to the left, it becomes a so waveform. And now if I'm moving it to the right, it becomes a reversed so waveform. Now the more interesting thing is that you can select any of the spectral waves. This time moving to the right doesn't affect the LFO waveform. But moving to the left we are gradually zoom into the waveform. And uh, you will have uh, different states of the wave shape. You see why zooming in and out over time we are essentially getting an extremely dynamic modulation source with 64 different states from a single wave. And I think this alone actually goes far beyond what an average synthesizer offers in terms of LFOs.